We are starting a new farm tonight. I haven't played farm sim for a while, like since Monday. Um, I just want to do a series where I kind of just play around on a farm. I can't really do the multiplayer map because my schedule has been so out of whack lately that I don't think any of my multiplayer people can play. So I'm also going to do a lone series here, um, a lone wolf series. Oh, well, that's a look. This guy probably looks the most like me, but really not. They don't have a big fat guy, so um, I can't do a big fat guy. There we go. Do they have unshaven? That's how I always look. That's a mustache. <laughs> no mustache. And what would I wear if I were a farmer? Yeah, pretty much in the spring or summer. They don't have shorts. I know. It's the closest thing, though. What's up, Jay? How's it going? Oh, those are some great pants. Would never be caught dead in those. <laughs> no, not you. You, not you. Me. Fat. Large. <laughs> no, I can't do. I'll probably we'll do case on this farm. We've done too much New Holland. Too much New Holland. Case. Do they have a case T-shirt? No, we don't. Dang it. Or do we? Valtra. What's up? It's Shade. Hey, Jurassic Park. Cowboy hat or tractor brand hat? That's right. <laughs> What's up, Dice? What's up, Owen? Yeah, Mrs. Moni went to bed. I wanted to do I want to do my grape farm tonight. She's like, nah, I'm going to bed. That's my impression of her. Did you like it? So we're starting off with a billion dollars, and um, we're just doing the regular mode. I don't own this farm, so I'm going to see kind of what's available. First of all, you know, let's a little direction. Let's see what's for sale. Well, there's that. I'm still not sure what to do with all this field equipment, like the stuff that... I don't want that. Uh, it'd be nice if it had a different color, which I think it does. Um, I know, it's a million. I wish it was a billion. But I don't own this land anyway, so <laughs> we have to buy some land. So I'm going to try to think outside of the box here. The nice thing is we can kind of, sort of, set up our own farm without even having to buy the farmhouse because I've got... As you guys have seen on my grape series, I have a little house trick. And I have the Sleep Anywhere mod loaded, left shift Z, to sleep. And the reason I did that is because I don't want to have to build a house. Um, but we could see if we have a house that we could pretend like it's our house. Um, Yeah, well, this one you don't get any at the start right now because I did it. I'm doing the, um, it's not the hard mode. It's the, like the easy, medium mode. You know, one thing, these are potatoes. Um, I got a, a decent amount of mods, Jer. Um, there are probably like like 30 or 40, maybe there's more. There might be 50 mods already out. Not all of them are super useful, though. Um what do you guys think we should do? One thing, one of my ideas, we could do like a sugar beet farm. I hate sugar beets, but we could do like a, a sugar processing unit. Why am I in trouble? What's this for? How do I sound? I can't do it tonight because I'm too tired. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Ah! That Blistex works. You'll like it. We could do like a wheat field or sorghum and mill it because sorghum we could do. You <laughs> said busted. So we got a lot of money. Um, we could do. We could own like a big field like this. You going to bed? How do I sound? Like that. Do your impression of yourself. What's your name? Ow. <laughs> She did have a good day. She got some, she's been working hard, and she got some good news at work. So, uh, let's see. What do we got? 
what the Blistex is? Yeah. It will a little bit. I mean, the other thing that we could do, let's take a look here. There is this, uh, first things first, we need to buy a way to get around because this is ridiculous. I hate walking around on foot. Um, and then. Um, do you know what? Um, now, Alfalfa never was in the game. It was always a mod. That was a mod, and, and it'll come back. Do you know what I did? Today? What What did you did? I went to work. You went to work. And you know what I did this morning before I went to work? What? I forgot to put my bra on. <laughs> I'm sure everybody wanted to know that. I went to work with no bra. With no bra on. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, hey, what's up, Captain Colton? Yeah, I like this. This is my favorite pickup so far in the game, so. Oh, my God. That's true. If it burns, it's. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have, have ever seen, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tim Hawkins. All right, stop. Doing his sketch about, like, back teen. <laughs> but you guys, are you guys, are any of you, stop. Okay, stop. Are you guys, any of you old enough to remember back teen? And, like, the horrible thing it was when you had to put it on. How did I buy two pickups? Oh, dang it. How did I manage that? <laughs> we'll leave that there, Jay. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because she's got, like, five layers of clothing. You got to remember, she works in a barn. There's no heat. So you have, like, she has, like, have like six she, has, she has, like, six jackets on. I can't believe I did that. There goes a thousand dollars down the drain, right to start with. No, back tin. <laughs> back tin. Uh, no, there's a. There it was back teen. T i n e. Ouch, that hurts. Stop. <laughs> Alfie, get her. The <laughs> banaka. That's right. <laughs> uh, no, banaka was. That was a thing in the eighties no. when we were in high school or junior high. That was popular. I don't do anything. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, no one would know anyway. But the, uh, so, but anyway, yes, uh, this is an oil factory. Now, this maybe if we get, <sighs> let's buy this and see, and see what kind of crops we need to buy. Um, let's just try it, and we'll do it. We're gonna make our farm all based around this. So, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to do this. Just yeah. I know, I know. I graduated in 92. So, wait, this is not where you buy it. This is where you... No, this is not where you buy it over here either. Where do I buy this thing? So, I wanted to have a series. I just want to play on Elm Creek, and I never get to. I just want to play on Elm Creek. So, that's what we're doing tonight. It's only $80,000 for the... No, wait. This would be like a $2 million facility in real life, or more. Probably $10 million. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I went to school back in the 80s. I know. Was an old man. I was there for the original Star Trek Happy Meal. Yes, I was. I was like in third grade when that came out. Yeah, it was the original. I think that was the first Happy Meal. Was the Star Trek ones? You got your food in a little spaceship. It was like, ooh, look at that. I didn't even know what Star Trek was back then. My mom wouldn't let me watch it, so I didn't really get to. But I knew what Star Wars was. <laughs> Born in '92. <laughs> I'm an old fella. So you think going 66 and a 35 is okay? All right, so let's look around. We have got that factory, and I totally forgot to look at what it takes. <laughs> Boo. Uh, yeah, I'm a tricky. I am. Seth and I were watching Star Trek on Saturday. We watched like three episodes. The Actually, the last three of the original series. Now we're going to move on to Next Generation. 91. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got about 20 years on you guys. <laughs> eh, 18. Okay, so we bought this factory. Let's go ahead and see what does it take for production. And we can actually probably start dumping stuff in here and producing. Sunflower, canola, or olive. We definitely don't have olive, but we could produce sunflower oil and canola oil. So let's take a look on the on the map. See what kind of crops we have growing. So, um Crop types. We want canola. I'm going to flash this so I can see a little bit easier. Okay, there's a big canola field right here. Let's look at farmland. 
That one's 300. We're going to buy that. Yep. Okay. And you watched one or two episodes. <laughs> the last, the year the last battleship was decommissioned. Wow, that's crazy. I know. Yeah, I think when we did Desert Storm or something like that, didn't they talk about recommissioning? It was Sunflower was the other one, right? So Canola is one type of header. Sunflower is another. So maybe if we just stick with Canola. Any other big canola fields? 68. How much is that? Sorry, Bleach Guy. I know. I, I, uh, it's, it's, it's all my wife's fault. She's going to come back down here and pinch my nipples. Um, <coughs> she had to, it's not her fault. They had a, 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 a surprise business meeting today at work because one of the employees is having issues. And, uh, they're going to be moving that person out of their position, moving some other people into other positions, including my wife, which is great. Um, but um, check growth states. Yeah, I mean, I guess we probably should. But but uh, so it's making her have to work late. So I don't think I want to spend six hundred thousand because that's half of, over half of what I got left. So we're not going to do that. That's not that's that would be stupid. Um, so she's getting my wife is getting some promotional things at work. Wait, let's see real quick. Is thirty three sunflower? It is. How much is thirty three? All right. Hey, we'll see. <laughs> Have a good night. So I'll be hopefully on starting next week. Hopefully I'll be earlier, but it's just the, la the next, these couple of weeks have been busy. Uh, yeah, it'll be more money for her for sure. Um, I don't want to overbuy. Shoot. I wish this was just, I wish I could buy just 33. I don't want 34. Dang it. And of course that's got cotton on it too. Completely worthless. Um, yeah, you're right. So we should probably try growth. This is ready to harvest, the one that we bought. Um, and, yeah, at least it didn't happen while we were doing the farm sim release. We were able to get that all all squared away. Um, this is still growing. So what does this, what does this farmland entail? Oh, God. Really? <laughs> like... A million dollars, okay? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. I mean, 400,000. Nope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the corn maze, yeah. <laughs> so we also have, let's see. I mean, I mean, this is cool, but I don't, like I said, I don't want to get, that'd be too much. Um... We this is two sixty seven because you get all that. You know what though? Now here's the thing: we could do this field. Um, what is in here? Oats. I guess we could just waka waka. <laughs> we could buy this plot and put our. Oh, there's even like farmland on there. Let's see. Hang on. We could pretend like this is our house. Um, because I got to sleep anywhere. That could be our house right there in the corner and we could put like a garage and stuff over here. So that might work. This, this actually could be beneficial to us here in this area. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy that even though it's, it's oats. Well, what about 55? Mm, that could work too. That's cheap actually, but see, I want this extra field space and we could actually turn some of this into field space too. Uh, it's oats. Oh, what is the 55 is, uh, hold on. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm trying to think about not getting into sunflower because if I get into sunflower, that means I got to get another header. Uh, so I'm thinking 72 would be a good addition because it's right next door, even though you have to go across the railroad tracks. And we could build stuff here, like we could actually put our the farm itself, like the the, the tractors and stuff could park here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, and we may even have to take out a loan, because I love loans. Okay. <laughs> the AI dork put potatoes on it. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at our buys here. Um, 56 is not it. All right, let me get back in the pickup. And we have all day today, so there's not a huge rush. But Yep, I'm thinking to build there. 
or if we need to, we can do both. Even maybe there's. I will have to see how big the space is, but. Starting from second gear. Hang on, I gotta turn my volume up, sorry. I had it down because I was watching TV and playing at the same time. And there we go. 80's probably good. There we go, now you can hear the truck. So yeah, it was gl I was glad for my wife. She had a good day today at work. And uh, eventually an animal ranch. I don't think we're gonna do that yet. Because uh, I think we're probably going to be into equipment pretty heavy here. I'm going to try to get everything that I need for the fields and not have to rent. So this is good. Hey, we're right by the train station, too. Oh, yeah, this isn't very flat here. You're right. It's not horrible, but... Stuck with lizards again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's expensive, though. That's probably why they did that. I think it's pretty pricey to get, you know, the name brand stuff. This does not look... Wait a minute. Those look like potatoes. Oh, Lord. I might just have to plow those under. I don't think I want to mess with the potato harvest. Do you think we get $20,000 in potatoes off this field? Because the harvester is like 20000 bucks to rent. For the big heart. I mean, eh, maybe. You know, maybe we'll do it. That's okay, though, because I want that field. Here's the other field. It's a little awkward because it's behind all of this. So the access is kind of an issue. We'd have to, let's see, we can't have to drive around. It's a little bizarre to access our field. And there's really no crossroads here because of the train tracks. So, hey, what's up, King Pit? How you doing? Vodka production, right? Potato vodka. Um, but this canola is ready to harvest, so we can put that and start producing oil right away. But this I'm not so sure about. But this is a nice, I mean. Hmm. Yeah, it's also going to take a long time to harvest. Um, ah, you are at work. Well, hello, my friend. Um, so I'm thinking... <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I'm not going to answer that because you know what the worst thing is. <laughs> you know it probably will happen. Uh, so we have this little access road here. So I want to tie in. Um, you plow it under. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Just plow it under. Turn it into another canola field for now. Uh, I need to also. You almost bought it, huh? <laughs> Not quite, though. Uh, turn these off. Normal, on, on, on. Crop destruction, on, blah, blah, blah. Where is the... There we go. I want that off. Okay. So... So what's happening, feared? Oh, weird. That's, that's weird, Siphon. Did you get, like, a slap on the wrist from Twitch, maybe, for something? That sounds like an account block out or some weird thing like that. Like, I, I've seen people get banned off of a channel before, but for it to be global, that's weird. Hey, Frosty Dog. Arg. I heard that. I heard somebody said today that they're they're finally doing it. That's weird, Siphon. No, they still got to fix the bugs. There's a lot of bugs still. Shadow ban. That sounds dark and ominous. Um, the only thing I hate is that... Um, You won't be able to scout only the map as it has no fuel station and only a fuel trailer. Well, we only use the fuel trailers anyway. We should be fine. Um, somebody else got shadow banned. Weird. So my, co my complaint is that these big wooden garages, like this is cool, 
but it's so expensive. Like, we don't really have, like, a in-between. That's a pretty big. What does that look like? So this one's this big. That one's this big. But I want I want to try a different building. I'm tired of the same, like, two buildings. Oh, that's cool. This one makes money. <laughs> look at that building. That is really sweet. I mean, that's like that's more than an equipment shop. That's like a that's like a sales facility. Like you could buy equipment and sell equipment there. I think they just go up in price from there. Uh, it messed my camera up. Hang on. Okay, there we go. What else we got? This one's a little. This one's only three twelve. Modded buildings for storage for cars. You get downloaded. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I know that there's... Hopefully we'll start seeing some more, some more mods in game. That's a cool one. And this saves you like 10000 because it's got a vehicle workshop in it. But still, it's freaking expensive. Uh, oh, yeah, you have, to, you have to unlock everything. Do they have a, a fuel station contract or is there no... There's just no fuel station, period. 340. That's a mod one I downloaded. These are, let's see, compared to what? This, this, this. Mm, this one's not so bad. Uh, well, let me, uh, let's get the equipment first and see what we're left over with. And we'll, I don't want to decide on the barn and then pit buy equipment. I'd rather decide on the equipment and then, then do the barn. So, um, going with the case theme, uh, let's go ahead and look at the shop. What, what do we have used now? Anything new? <sighs> let's see. Um, yeah, that's how, there was one like that in, um, the first Russian map too, where you had to take a, um. You had to take a, a fuel trailer to it. All right, so let's see. Harvesters. Mm. I want an American Harvester. I'm tired of... The case one's so expensive, though. I mean, it's huge. We are going to... We have two big fields. But this is going to sap us. I mean, we're going to... Oh, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm probably going to go with this one. I'll have to change my outfit now that I've got to we'll just go with New Holland, I guess. Day's been good, Louie. Very busy day today. I had I basically just drove people around all day. Tomorrow's going to be likewise. Um, I got uh, I had to. Um, I don't know yet, Cypher, and this week has been so crazy. And then I got double I got a double header wedding this weekend, so I'm not even going to be home anytime this weekend. So we'll have to see. Um, <laughs> woot woot. Uh, all right, so need to be unlocked. Yep. Yeah, we may have to do those missions to unlock them if we're struggling with fuel, because we probably will be. Now, why would you buy the smaller one if you can have the bigger one? And they both work with the same harvester. I, I was looking at this the other night. I guess maybe just price. And we need to look at this and go. Whoop. Combinations, um, either of these will work, huh? We'll try the Nardi 7030. Nardi. So let's get this guy started. Oh my God, there goes almost all of our medding right there. Oh, yeah. Was that when I was getting divorced with my summer card season two? Yeah, that was a fun time of life. Yes, it was. Never goes away. <laughs> you said bah. Yeah, but I got to buy a tractor and a trailer and all the different accoutrements that go with that.
We're going to need some kind of d way to deliver. Yes, <laughs> still am. <laughs> I mean, people could do whatever they want, but not in my house. Uh, anyway. I've experienced that. All right, so we're going to head down and start harvesting this, I guess. And we'll just get stuff as we need it. And I do have 45 kids, yes. I have uh, still at home six, but only four of them. Four of them are only here on the weekend, so. Let's see, what do I cook in? No. <laughs> ba <-doom. laughs> Now, some people, I guess, are fine with it, but my ex was not. It made her a different person. It was not a good situation. Not a good situation. But there was also more than that going on, too, we found out later. So that was just the stepping stone to get into where she went. So, yeah, this is what's going to be weird. To access this field, I mean, I guess there's a road at the top, but we kind of have to drive. Here's a road here. We kind of have to drive through the middle of their production facility to get here. But then again, this is kind of cool. We got lime right on our back door, and we could probably park our header trailer right here. <laughs> the company doesn't get too mad. They're definitely into supporting their local farmer, and I'm just that. So if they don't complain, then we can just park it right there. Hey, what's up, Tony? How's it going? <laughs> well, not her. And not that drug. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ooh, look at that little GPS thing on it. That's pretty sweet. All right, so what do you think? Should We, we probably are going to get a new Holland T7 then, like our Tier 7 tractor. There you go. Yeah. My particular my particular drug of choice is cough drops. My wife hates them cuz I like the licorice flavored ones. She's she hates the smell of licorice. She's like, "Yeah, I hate licorice. Mm, it's delicious." <laughs> well, this was the best. This was the cheapest American harvester that I could get. Didn't have much of a choice. It was this or spend another fifty thousand dollars for a case. I'm, I got my case clothes on, see, but I'm gonna have to change over to New Holland. Ah, well, that's different. Yeah, there was a uh, electric tractor, and that's hey, John Taron. How's it going? How's it going, Jacob? Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I checked the bargain bin. Unfortunately, all we had was the little electric tractor. Uh, I forget there were two items that I didn't need that were the same, and then a uh, uh, culty. A disc, what do you call that? The one that spins, the cultivator, the powered harrow. So. Yeah, I was thinking T7 too. I think we're still going to need like a forklift though also because to load the pallets neatly onto a trailer, I'm not going to be able to do it with the tractor. The pallets are difficult to load unless you got a front loader. So I'm thinking I'm going to get a little harrow. How are you? <laughs> little farming humor. <laughs> That's a whole other topic about psychotropic drugs. I, we don't do that on the channel. <laughs> Let's move along to another topic. <laughs> um... 
I'll get myself in trouble. All right, so um, so so far, I think we're going to do a T7. We'll do just a, a tipper, one tipper fits all type deal. I'm not going to do a semi truck, save money. Um, so, oh, that's cool, John. Well, that's how's uh, how's the trucking life going, man? Are you still who are you working for now? Yeah, I like the yellow one. I also I still like the Manitou though. The Manitou works just fine. It's smaller, so I like the way it's just it's super agile. But the electric forklift is cool because it doesn't use any fuel. So hey, what's up, Oz Sim? Good to see you. Thank you for the follows and the cheers and all that stuff. Yeah, it's a huge problem. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy, Cyphering. Yeah, that that's nuts. And didn't even know. Didn't even know. So anyway, I think I said hi to Oz. How's it going? Did I say hi? I hope I said hi. Otherwise, I was being a jerk. There are charging stations. You can actually buy a little charging station. It's like 50 bucks, I think. And you just place it, and it'll charge it. So... Um, so, I mean, like I said, I'm not opposed to taking out a loan for our buildings and stuff. I don't, we'll see. I, I'm not going to have that much equipment either, though. I don't think we're going to need one, but we'll see. I, I, just a regular little building probably will do. Just doing the Stardew Valley. I might need to grab ice water in a minute here. We had a, a huge dinner, and I am stuffed to the hilt. Sometimes drinking water helps me to digest. So while this is going on, we need to do a couple quick changes. Uh, this one, this one, this one. And we'll just, eh, real quick here, we're going to hop that on. Don't, no one look. Everyone look the other way. Yep, up, okay, looks good there. Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> the man with the New Holland t-shirt on says, I'm driving a New Holland Harvester because I like New Holland. I should get a, I need a sponsorship from them. I even wear a freaking New Holland hoodie when I go out. What do I get? Nothing. Okay, so let's take a look at tractors. All right, Louie, have a good night. <laughs> Sorry I started so late, guys. Once again, just this week has been nuts. My wife has had to work till like 8 or 9 o'clock every night. And when that happens, that means she doesn't, that we don't get home and eat dinner until like 9. So by the time we get done and then I'm, we're done eating, it's, it's this late. So thank you for the cheer, Tony, by the way. Yeah, they gave me that swag, right? Right. No, in real life, I actually wear a New Holland hoodie. <laughs> I don't know where it is. It's down in the wash somewhere, but. Oh, I haven't tried the female characters. Maybe I I love those Nokian tires. Those are cool tires. Here's the question, though. Can you get narrow tires for this tractor? That's, that's the other thing, because if i got to do field work, what am I going to do? Standard. I'm checking each one. If, probably not, though, huh? Oh, wait. Narrow tires. Yes. So the Beckett's have narrows. Okay, so we can buy those. Um, wait, it's in Italy? They moved to Italy? You said that's good for you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I, yeah, I wish I could be earlier. 313 is the most that you can get. John, oh, thank you for all the cheer, John. I mean, Jacob. I mean, you know, John Terran. Did I buy this? Yes, I did. Oh God! And we need to be a tipper. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to take a loan out. I think um, the tipper that we're gonna buy is gonna be. Mm, I think. We're going to go with the biggest coverable one. Because if I need to use it as a silo, I can. Can we pick a different color? Oh, look at this. We can pick different colors. That looks really gross. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, by the way. <laughs> wow, that's horrible looking. 
Is there a New Holland blue? Yeah, we'll do the. I want to do the. Hang on, the design color. I want to do New Holland. There we go. And then the chassis color, just gray. What do you think? Oh God, that's awful. <laughs> uh, what is the base color? No, red doesn't work. White definitely doesn't work. Dark gray. That looks a little. That looks better. You just do green and red for everything. <laughs> Three thirteen nay. Be yourself. Um, I definitely want the cover. Wheel setup's fine. Trailberg's fine. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. That's pretty cool looking. It actually kind of has a New Holland yellow top, too. Fent or cloth. Yeah, it depends on what color green, right? Certain greens are cloth and certain greens are fent. Are they in the Netherlands? Well, that would make sense. New Holland. <laughs> there is a Valtra still that you can run. In, the old-fashioned Valtra in this game runs in reverse. Uh, let's see if I can show you. This guy, uh, medium tractors. This one actually has, see the little steering wheel back there? This one can actually run in reverse. Yep, and I tried it. I was like, can it, can it? And yep, sure enough, it does. So. <laughs> hey, it's easy, man. John Deere Green when available. There you go. <laughs> now, in fairness, this is the first time I've done a New Holland Farm since 22. So this is this will just be my, this is what I play when I want to relax when, with you guys. So. Um, I don't know. You could kind of do whatever. The narrow tires you need if you're going to do crop work. That's why I checked. So I got wide tires for regular work, these Nokian tires. But then I also got, um, I'll be getting narrow tires when I go to do spraying and stuff because you don't, you don't want to damage your crops. So. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess I need to park the trailer elsewhere because that's going to happen again. I'm going to end up hitting the tree every time I go to dump. We should get a decent amount of canola oil from this. Um, so, yeah, there's a whole bunch of tires, but you can get kind of whatever you like. That's kind of why they do that. Um, I like the way these Nokian tires look. They're pretty beasty looking, so I, I go with them. I don't know in real life. Most farmers, I think they use Michelin, you know. Um, or whatever, the Trellberg, you know, the, the, the ones that have been in farm sim forever. Um, so, but I'm not sure. But I, I think in America they use Michelin. Maybe Goodyear. No problem. It's good to see you, man. Really? So they're not an American company anymore. Weird. Are they still with with Case? Or are they are they are they separated from Case? That was my last cough drop, by the way, for a while. Sorry about that. I don't like chewing them while we're online. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's other ones. Like I'm I'm curious too, that class tractor that we got, um, Um, they're still CNH, okay. Uh, weird. Didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Um, that that uh, class tractor. I'm I'm curious. Like I haven't tried it yet, but I'm wondering if this tractor, the one that the saddle track, is this reversible? Because like remember in the other game, this would actually lift up and turn around and go the other way. So you could have the tractor run either way. 
does this cab actually reverse or is it fixed into that position? It looks like it could. It's got these nubs for the cab to sit on, so I, I don't know. So CNH is their parent. Okay. Yeah, class is German. Did I say class? I meant New Holland and Case, not class. Case. Is Case still American or have they moved? Because if New Holland's changed to Amsterdam. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it does not help to spray um, if you uh, – canola does not make straw. That's all you get with canola. If you want to get straw off the field and you're doing oats or wheat or whatever, then you put it in the line, as you know, and you can collect it with a baler. But um, you can also, if you decide you don't want to use straw, you can chop it up like this and spread it on the field. Farmers do it because it puts some nutrients back into the field, and then you plow it under. But – I get it. Let's check the. Oh God, this field needs lime and plowing. Good Lord. So we'll stubble it, we'll lime it, and then we'll plow it. I should still be here. I'll probably run till about midnight. Maybe even one o'clock. We'll see. We've been streaming late, so I don't want to go too too late tonight. I would like to kind of go to bed around one thirty. So maybe we'll run till like twelve thirty. How does that sound? Another hour and a half. And thank you guys again for being patient with me starting so late. I am so sorry. Um, we will be. Uh, don't use a mulcher on seed radish. Wait, what? <laughs> what did you say, Mr. Micah? You found don't use a mulches on seed radish. <laughs> I think your phone is. It's conspiring against you to make you sound crazy. Oh, Fiat's in there, too. Okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Junk. No, Fiat's all right. Sweet. Yes, we were talking about that earlier, Jay. Uh, cool stuff. So so we didn't get, uh, with the Phase 6, we didn't get, we didn't get any uh, paid DLCs this time. Oh, right. Okay, Red Alpha. I'll try it. I mean, I'll try first. If not, I'll rent a plow and we'll do that. But then how you can't do it after you cultivate. You have to recultivate after you put the lime down. Don't you? Oh, you're trying to do it through the voice thing. I mean, am, am, am I wrong about that? <sighs> I'll try it and see what happens. Okay, so there's new trucks in the map. Right, I saw that. They had, like, the forwarder, which is pretty cool, actually. That will help with some of the logging stuff. Um, you can use it down in the mud pit, bring it up, and then hand it off to your trucks. Um, but, uh... I really like this harvester. I'm so glad they put a mid-sized New Holland harvester in. This is... This is what was missing the five, the, like the five and up series, six, the six seventy, the seven seventy, the eight seventy. Yeah, you can't line once you see, you can't line once you're seated. I knew that, but um, oh, that's cool, Jaywa. Somebody here playing World of Tanks. I haven't played that in a while. Oh, you can't mulch it. You have to ah, right, right, right. You have to you have to cultivate it, right? Yeah, and then they remove the big one, right? <laughs> Maybe it'll come back with a mod. Yeah, they gave us a small one and took the big one out. Yeah, I might turn the mod. We'll see. I might turn the weeds off. We're gonna try it and see how this goes. So, I did, Big Ron. I have it installed. I'm not doing crops that have hay right now, though, so I won't be messing with that or straw. I'm doing, we're running the oil plant, so I'm doing canola. 
Canola. Christmas boxes are coming today. <laughs> oh, the Comia? You mean uh, San the Rosen Sampen? The Rosen Sampen Lou? Is that what it was? Roser Sampen Lou? Whatever. Rose Law Sampen Law. <laughs> the, the, you're talking about the little Comia C6, right? Yeah, they don't put that in anymore. Yeah. No, I saw as soon as I saw the Vicon stuff was in, I I had grabbed it, but it was after. You got to remember those videos that I put out; they're always a couple days behind. Like I record them, you know, and then I release them several days later. So, <laughs> hey, what's up, Captain Mac? Can I show? Hey, we just got on. Can you show your farm? Oh, there's no farm yet, really, Rock Solid. This is it. Uh, I bought this field and the field next to it over there. I haven't built anything yet. I just got a tractor and a harvester. And I bought the oil plant, that right, uh, that big oil refinery right there. Uh, but that's it. So there's really no farm to show yet. Sampo Rosenloo. Thank you. I knew it was something. <laughs> the Rosenthal sample all. <laughs> I still I still do the plowing. I'm a glutton for punishment. So yeah, Roxal, there's no farm yet. This is all new. I restarted on this like Twitch because it's too hard. I've got so many people playing on the multiplayer map that we have to set up a a time to play. So I can't you know, unless they can play, it's like I can't play. So I won't, I won't be able to play this map. But so we gone to a different place and started a new farm in a different location. But that's the great thing about Elm Creek so far is it's got a lot of cool places to start up. It's not like the California map where there's like one or two good places and then everything else is too big. So yeah, we don't really have American plows, do we? Uh, I'm going to sell it by hand. It can auto sell, but I'm, gonna st I'm still going to do it myself because I like to do it. I'm a glutton for punishment, so I'll be hand selling the oil. What's up, Mikoyan? Mikoyan. Yan. Unfortunately, there were weeds on this field, too. Uh, yeah, that is a good point. Most American farmers don't plow anymore. They do. They use rippers and stuff like that, but they don't go as deep because it avoiding the dust bowl. Um, I don't know. Forty four because it's new. I'd be shocked if it doesn't go on a little sale, but I'd be surprised if it goes on a big sale. Yeah, you just don't see it anymore. Yeah, they're swapping to no-till, right? I mean, we kind of have they're 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 listed as cultivators, but we have some rippers in the game. Rippers. <sighs> I'm relaxed. Are you guys relaxed? Good. I hope so. Waiting for Epic to give it up. I don't think it's, it's probably being a brand new game. It's going to be a while before it's free. <laughs> I would think. It'll be a while. So if I take out the full loan, we'll still have 700,000, 600,000. We've got a couple more things to buy and then field work equipment, which it requires a lot. Um, but we could buy some more fields in the area to help our, our oil production grow once we put our building down. I do want to get, I want to try one of those big halls. I know they're a waste of money, but... 
I just, it seems, like, I'm excited to try those out. So we might put down a big farm hall. Um, I haven't figured out how to make money in the game yet, though. It is, it's been tricky so far. But I, then again, all my games that I'm playing right now, we're all still in the fall. I haven't even gotten to winter yet in most of my series because it takes so long to get there. So... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go free until the new one's out. <laughs> or close to it. <laughs> yeah, Seasons is a big part of it. Right. Yeah, I know. They sold so much in the first week. <laughs> like that's all. That's a. Re I think that's definitely. I mean, that's definitely a record for them. And that's that's you know triple A title uh, work right there. I think, isn't it? <coughs> Just to go back and show you the kind of numbers that is. I think in America, the Sega Dreamcast only sold three hundred thirty thousand units in the first week. So. There's a game, though, a farming game that way outsold a console. That's pretty crazy. But then again, console sales are probably a little slower. It's hard to compare that, but I don't know. I never keep track of, like, video game sales stats, so I don't know if that's good or bad, but it seems like that's really good for any game. Like, that's not a, that's a very good number. <laughs> it's not Battlefield. Poor Battlefield. I've heard they had a rough launch, yeah. Only only $75 million. That's nothing. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Poor Battlefield. One of the largest games in history. It still works, huh? That was such a great system. I loved my Dreamcast. Uh, we had a, we had a lot of fun playing the games on that. That was a great system. I used to make my friend so mad, man. I'd beat his pants off at Toy Commander. He'd be like, ah. I'm like, come on, man. He'd be like, no, nah, I'm done. I'm like, ah, all right, dang it. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Is it bad? I'm glad I didn't buy it. I had a friend that wanted me to buy it, and I'm like, I'm pretty limited on funds. I got to really think about that. And he's like, oh, no, man, it'll be great. I'm like, eh. So I guess I spent my money well by not spending it on Battlefield and buying dog food instead. Oh, we had, my kids had Wii's. Yep, and the Wii U, obviously. Yeah, bot players, yeah. And they kind of have gone, I mean, once again, and that's one of the reasons why, and I hate to say this, but people are like, why don't you like War Thunder? Because it follows the same formula as Call of Duty and Battlefield. It's it's just the same thing, but with tanks. I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. I kind of burned out on multiplayer shooter games. Yeah, I'm sure my son still has a Wii for sure. Um, they do they do emulators though. Um, they they em, they have a um, they they run the games on their PC, so they they're still playing. Like my son plays uh, Wind Waker, the Wii. This is the Wii U edition. Like Wii U redid it, and um, they play Skyward Sword on there. Now I guess there's a the Nintendo Switch remade Skyward Sword, didn't it? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Red Alpha, though. I, I mean, I, I agree with you because I had the GameCube and I loved it. And uh, the uh, the Wii was just a reinvented GameCube. But, but it saved Nintendo. That system saved Nintendo's butt. They would have gone out of business if it hadn't been for the Wii. 
it uh, it it really it really um, it was the first time they had seen con- success with a console in quite a while. Because they're you know the the sixty four eh, the sixty four was pretty pretty great, but have a good hey ha- have a good dip. <laughs> We'll see you, John. See you, Jacob. Have a good night. But yeah, it did. It did save their butt because they were the GameCube did horribly. The GameCube was excellent. I loved my GameCube, but it did horribly. Yeah, and the 3DS also. Yep. So when the Switch came along, the Switch, of course, has continued that success. But they they almost went out of business with the with the GameCube. Like they they were they were on that edge of like, man, eh, we're not gonna be doing this anymore. So, hi, Gwen. <laughs> Wow, that was a quick drive over to the field. This thing's fast. Oops, I missed a, I missed a scoop. Yeah, the 64 had GoldenEye. The 64 missed Metroid, but let's see what else did it. What else did it have? Good night, Big Ron. 5 a.m. does come early. You're right. Um. So for those of you that saw my class farm video number three, was there a particular, I, I got like a bunch of, th- you guys don't see them anymore, but I got a bunch of thumbs down on that video. Did I do or say something wrong in, in video number three on the Swiss farm, the Swiss dairy farm? A bunch of people like, I don't know. Did I hear about the Vicks VapoRub truck that overturned on the highway earlier? No, I did not. That's crazy. For, is that for real or is this a joke? Are we about to hear a joke? <laughs> oh, yeah, Rogue Squadron. That was a great game. Yeah, they had some good games. I didn't like the 64 because, once again, you know, we had, you know, the PS2 or the PS1 that was far older but still had better graphics, and it had uh, actual transparencies and music and video and then you got to the N64, and um, yeah, the cartridges killed it. That's yeah, you couldn't get live music. Oh my God! I knew it! I knew it! I knew a dad joke was coming. <laughs> no congestion for twelve hours. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, it was weird. A lot of people gave me. Th- Once again, you guys don't see that anymore. They've taken the thumbs down thing off the videos, which I don't mind, but. A lot of people didn't like that video, and I'm like, what did I do wrong? I even had a guy yell at me. He's like, this isn't a survival series. And I'm like, no, and it doesn't even say in the title that it is a survival series, so why are you upset by that? <laughs> Shadows of the Empire was great, yep. Um, yeah, so now that I look back on it, it really was a good system. But it, the cartridge thing and the cost, was that kind of made it difficult. And I think that the graphics were better on the PlayStation, honestly, or close. They were close. But the GameCube, I had, this is, I've told you this story before, but I got a huge tax return one year, like 5000 bucks. And I went out, this is back when large televisions were super expensive. I bought a 42-inch rear projection television for 2000 bucks, And I took another $1,000 and I bought a PlayStation 2. And an Xbox uh, and a GameCube. And I'll tell you what, um, that GameCube was the best looking out of all three systems. It had the most vibrant colors. It had my favorite games of that era, except for Gran Turismo A-Spec. That, you know, you can't beat that. But um, the GameCube had, you know, Star Fox Adventures and Metroid, uh, was it Prime? And it had, uh, you know, all the Zelda games, Wind Waker. It was just so great. Yeah, and he he wasn't being mean. I don't. The guy wasn't. He wasn't like a jerk. He was just kind of like. I only like series. He's like. I, he's like. I'm trying to watch your videos, but I only like series where the character starts with no money and only has a pickup truck and no tractors and no equipment. And I'm like, well, that's cool. That's called. They, call, they don't call that hard mode. He's like, I don't like it when people say it's hard. you're playing hard mode. And I'm like, but I'm playing hard mode. <laughs> like, literally, I'm playing the games 
self-titled start from scratch hard mode. <laughs> what am I supposed to call it? <laughs> so I said to him, and I said nicely, I said, in my defense, like, this title never said anywhere that it was hard mode. It's not. Uh, and he was complaining because I gave the guy equipment, and I'm like, well, this is a continuation of a series from Farm Sim 19. You know, like, look, this is not, this is a story that's been going on. Um, and I'm sorry you don't like it. That's just how it is. So, whatever. I just said, what you're looking for is called Survival Series. I said, and that's that belongs to some dude named Daggerwind. If you want to go watch his videos, he does good stuff with Survival Series. Uh, and, you know, love to have you back, but this I don't do, I don't copy other YouTubers. So, you know. Like, I'm super, and I still, I do it a little bit because people like to see the time lapses, but I'm not going to make all my videos time lapses. I'm not. I'll put in little bits here and there. I kind of am digging a little bit more, like doing just quick clips of the harvest happening and then putting music over it, but not doing the high, I don't, I, I think watching the, the time lapses are silly and, and annoying, so. <laughs> all right, John Trude, have a good night, buddy. I know, you have to learn to ignore the comments. I have a hard time with that. I think part of the reason is because I um, I like to uh, try to answer everybody's comments. And sometimes I, I get a little too tied into what I'm saying or what they're saying. And I shouldn't. Because you should, if you're putting yourself out there publicly, you need to have a thick skin. And I don't always. So, yeah. So, like, I, I started doing stuff where I do, like, a, maybe, like, a two-minute clip of me actually doing work with no talking and just music. But I'm, I'm not going to do any more time-lapse stuff because I just don't like it. Yeah, they're impersonal. So, yeah, some people have only time to, to waste. Me kind of being one of those, like, that's what I do for a living. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can see. He, I think he was trying to give me construct. Like, this guy in particular, he was nice about it, and he was trying to give me constructive criticism. He wasn't He wasn't being mean or anything like that. I didn't, I didn't take it as him being, like, a jerk. Um, but... You know, it's like, <laughs> that's one thing I've learned about the channel. I've got, there's a group of people who hate my wife, and that's fine. I know there's the guys that are like, hey, we hate our wives, and we come here because we don't like our wives, and so we don't want to hear your wife. And it's like, wow. But okay. I mean, I understand that, but this is probably not a good place for you then, because my wife is going to be in the background sometimes. Um, you know, same thing with the kids. Like, oh, I can't stand hearing those kids. It's like, wow, okay, well, you know. <laughs> So I get those criticisms a lot. Dogs barking. Oh, the dogs are barking. Ew, you're eating a cough drop. <sighs> Speaking of which, I never released a video today for YouTube. I need to do that. This was a busy... It's funny because I got nothing done today, but it was a very busy day, it felt like. I had to go... My wife and I woke up late. Like, late for, for her to go to work. So it was kind of a rush. We woke up. We had our coffee. I took her to work. And then... Um, and then uh, I got back home and uh, had about an hour here. And I started, you said, you said suddenly I'm happy signal. <laughs> that, well, that's one of the reasons why a lot, and you'll see in a lot of my videos, Gwen, I actually cut out those parts. Like I'll talk, if I have a story to tell, I'll tell it while I'm cultivating. If I don't, I'll just say, okay, guys, I'm going to get this done. See you in just a minute. And then I cut, and I do the work while watching a video or something. And then I come back and continue to record. So, so you said, ooh, you have a life, and I don't, right? Hey, what's up, Hawk? Um, so, anyway, I went to I, – going back to my story for today, I went to um, – I got back home. I started recording a video of the new Hunter stuff, and I also fixed my computer. I don't know if you guys watched last night when we were doing the Hunter. It was really choppy. I got that fixed. I did a bunch of research online, and there's a switch you can throw somewhere in the software. I found it. Um, that will allow the video card to stop chugging like that when you're recording certain games. Now, it's not perfect, but it's much better than it was. So one thing at a time, we're fixing it. So I did that, and then I, I did some recording. And then I had to pick my kids up, take them to horsey lessons, take them back home, uh, uh, come back home for like half an hour. And then I had to go pick up the camera stuff for the wedding on Saturday. And then I had to go to work to my wife's work and pick her up. And by the time we got home, it was like 10 o'clock. 
<laughs> so that's my day. I just drove. All, I literally used a half a tank of gas today. I just drove and drove and drove. <laughs> I know. Well, that's what's funny about it. Like, do you really hate your wife there? She's working at the horsey barn where she keeps her horses. So, yeah, or we chat about something not suitable for YouTube, right? <laughs> Whenever you get a comment, just answer back. That's the thing that I learned. <laughs> the more you answer back, the more people will comment. So, Nope, she just cleans out stalls. The horses poo, she cleans it out. So canola oil is actually up and running. And we're going to start doing, we're making, we're going to make canola oil and we're going to store it and then we're going to sell it. No, I'm playing a single player game that I started tonight because... Um, I started so late that I didn't have time to organize the multiplayer. We will continue the multiplayer map, but I am on a different field and I'm making a new farm tonight. So this is the one problem about only having three maps. I can't go somewhere else and make a new map. We just basically have to use... We're recycling the same maps over and over again. <laughs> Are you playing Halo, Mr. Micah? <laughs> My kids play that. The new one, they're playing the new one. Whatever the collector's edition multiplayer thing that they they got out, either he's doing, my kids are doing that. So production has begun. <laughs> the Halo UI is so bad, was so bad. Let's grab this. And we're going to go ahead and left my lights on again. I always do that. Let's see. You should, let's see, just the FYI, you should make a rule not to buy the shops you got for sell points on the map. Oh, um, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying for multiplayer. That's a good idea, Halo, actually. So, like, hey, if you want to have your own mill, you have to build it on your property. That way people can still use the sell points. That's actually a really smart idea. That's, that's good thinking. That's so funny. Well, my, I tried to get my wife to play tonight, but we started so late. She's like, no, I need to go to bed. I'm like, oh, come on, honey. Like I got that grape farm that I started, and I can't, <laughs> I can't play it because she won't. She keeps being too tired to play. I'm just like, but I want to play on my grape farm. With the UI, yeah. Seth, Seth plays that. He and Ryan were playing that. Uh, it just came out, right, Mr. Micah? Oh shoot. Right, exactly. You can't because then no one no one can sell sell at that point. Right. Yep, and then you lose the sell point. Right, exactly. So, you'd have to build it on your own farm. Right. Yeah, I will say that's the. This is going to be the hard thing. Once you've got your equipment set. You gotta wait a long time before you start getting decent income back in. Like it's a long. This is that they've made the game a long-term game. Now I don't mind that. I don't. Uh, but I wish we had some industries that made more money. You know, like I got I got spoiled on the brewery farm uh, because the brewery brought in a lot of money. This is also uh, oh not a problem at all, Hawk. We <laughs> that's that's nor that's normal for this channel. Uh, no. Okay, so Frosty Dog, here's the processes for grass. And I hope that this makes sense. You can either make silage or make hay. So here's, we're going to talk about making silage first. If you're going to make silage, you're going to mow the grass. You're going to windrow it so that you can pick it up with your, um, with your baler, with your wrapper. And then you're going to run the baler that has the wrapper, and you're going to wrap those grass bales. Over a couple days, they will become silage. Or you can collect it with a collection wagon and put it in the silo, run it over, and cover it, and then it will become silage. The tether, if you, you're, that's to make hay. So you're going to mow, 
you're going to Ted, you're going to Windrow, and then you're going to collect that, and that's hay. That's not that's not silage. Um, if you scroll down below this video, now unfortunately I don't have one for Farm Sim 22, but I've got one for 19. There's a video that I made for Farm Sim 19 on my YouTube channel, and you'll see my channel listed down below the video, that has a, a video that's called All You Need to Know About Grass and Hay. And it, it walks you through the steps. The steps are the same for this version of Farm Sim as they were for the last one except for one thing. Silage now takes a couple days for it to become silage. It used to just happen immediately when you would wrap the bales, but now you have to wait a couple days, and that's realistic. So hopefully that helps, and I haven't confused you too much. <laughs> oh man, like in the shop, like the use the sales the sales part, Hawk. <laughs> oh, wait for 103k for a for a T9. <laughs> that's ridiculous. It's making, it's making me want to look at the sales again. Hang on, let's see what we got. Uh, bam. Nope. Yeah, two two telehandlers and a uh, an electric tractor. No thanks. The Pyro Hero has a little bit of interest for me, but. <laughs> I, those are, I'm sure they're all coming, K Tigris. This stuff will be here. They're, they're going to show up. <laughs> oh god I hate the PV map I'm sorry I like the ideas behind it but uh, it's such a boring map yep just grass because it has to be wet when you make hay what you're doing is you're you're drying the grass out so that it's it's dry and now farmers do wrap hay sometimes and they call it haylage, but we don't do that in this game. It's not part of the game, so you can't. Uh, there are mods that allow you to make haylage, but um, oh, the nine nine RX, oh T nine, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, you. But you were correct. It is grass because the grass is still wet, and so what that water does. The moisture causes the gua the uh, grass to ferment and rot, and that's what makes silage is basically rotten. That type of silage is basically rotten grass. Um, you also have corn silage, which you know you cut the corn and the sugar. And grass is also sugary. Uh, the sugars in grass also are what cause it to ferment. You have this moisture plus the sugar, and it causes fermentation. That's why that's why grapes ferment, uh, and you get wine. That's why corn ferments, and you get. Uh, corn silage um, that sugar does it in fact there's an issue with horses and I, I didn't know this till I met my wife my wife's a horsey girl um, horses can only have a certain amount of fresh grass if you feed them too much fresh grass they go lame uh, they get what's called laminitis and what that is is their body cannot process all of those sugars and they start to gain too much weight and it also causes them to be lame. It does something to their system where they get it. So you have to cut, you have to watch how much fresh grass the horses eat because there's too much sugar in them. The other thing you never want to do when you have a horse pasture, you never want to mow it. You want the horses to eat it down. If you mow it, it will cause the sugars to, to, to uh, get more dense in the grass and then you're going to have a real problem with laminitis. So those are all things I didn't know. She had a she used to have a horse barn that she went to up in England, and she was always super upset because the owners would mow the would mow the paddocks, and she's like, "Don't mow the paddocks! Like you're going to cause these horses to have." And sure enough, all the horses had laminitis all the time because they would they wouldn't stop mowing the lawn. The lady wouldn't listen, and so it's like, <laughs> I guess it, it's a big problem. And I never knew that about horses, but you live and learn. Horses are finicky, and I guess the other thing people <laughs> I've learned about horses is they're always looking for ways to kill themselves. The, that's uh, the horses. The horse's life is basically trying. It's trying to find a way to injure itself, um, and so you have to be real careful. <laughs> yes, you can make the fields bigger by renting a actual plow, not a culty plow or a subsoiler. You have to go into these plows and rent a plow. And then when you're using the plow, in your help menu up here, it'll show you what button to press. It'll say, Allow Create Fields. Uh, you'll turn that on, 
and then you can plow all the grass. Now, you can't go on to places that you don't own, but let's say I, I owned both of these fields, this one and the one that we're looking at up ahead with the green on it. I could, I could take that plow and combine these two fields and also extend that field up there so it was a big square instead of having that rounded corner. So, um, so yeah, you can, use the, you can use a plow to do that. Um, and so we can make this and that all one giant field. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know if they suck. What, now, why do, why do you think they suck, Hawk? They've, I haven't had any issues with them. But they work like, they're, like they've always worked. I've heard people saying they can't get the plow to turn over, but mine turned over fine. I think they have it folded, and that's why they can't get it to flip. Because I haven't had a problem flipping any of the plows that I've rented, and I've tried all of them. I even tried the one because I had a guy come on when we first got it. He's like, I can't get my plow to flip, and I was able to do it. So I was like, here it is, and I flipped it. He's like, oh, I can't get mine to flip. I'm like, I, I don't know. So there's, he must have had it locked a certain way, and it wouldn't flip. But working as intended. The thing that seems to be screwed up right now is the weeds. That's where we're having issues. There's problems with the weeds. Um, obviously, there's mission issues. Those are the big ones. Um, still getting pallets stuck in the ground. Uh, they will... Um, oh, the semi-trucks. That To me, that's a huge one. The fact that the Mack trucks don't work. That's super frustrating because I was really excited about those trucks. It's so cool to finally have name brand trucks in the game. And then we can't use them. You have to get the man truck. That's the only one that gets any, uh, any traction at all. So... Yeah, see, people were saying they don't flip, but I've tried all the ones that the people said don't flip, and I was able to get them to flip. So I don't know if they're not pressing the right buttons or if they've got them folded, because sometimes if you fold the plow, it'll still work, but you can't flip it. Turn them into two fields. Oh, there you go. Okay. Did it freeze? Huh, weird. I don't know. I like the I like the nine, the T nine, but it doesn't have as much horsepower. I don't think as the nine RX. The nine RX is a bigger tractor. But I'm a New Holland guy. I like the the New Hollands are are I like blue. It's my favorite color. So so I like the yellow. <laughs> it doesn't make sense with the harvester. I know the tractors are blue. Yeah, it's a good way to do it. And there's a cheat in the game, too, but I don't do it. But you can buy a field that's ready to harvest, harvest it, and then sell it back for the same price. That's definitely cheating, but you can do it. The game allows you to do it. So Now, what would be cool is if you bought it, let it sit for 10 years in game, and then went and sold it for 10 times as much as you paid for it, because that's what people do around here. In um, it, Ohio's weird. Once again, I don't understand why it is. Ohio has some of the most expensive farmland in the Midwest. We're more expensive than, except for maybe Illinois, we're more expensive than all of our neighboring states. It's weird. Getting on the farm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. My track is dirty. So meanwhile, while this guy's going, let's take a look around here. We've got 57 and 72. I would say probably a logical step. If we have, after I build my, uh, my tractor plex to store my, my hardware, um, 56 would be probably the next logical field for us to buy. As it's big, and it sits right next to 57, and as we were talking before, I could actually combine them into one field. Um, so maybe we'll do that. That's right, Funky Cold Medina. Uh, I am from Medina, yes. Resolu Terrain. <laughs> oh, hey, we'll see you, Cypher, and have a good night, buddy. 10 4, good buddy. We'll do Railroad soon, I promise. Uh, probably not this Saturday, but. Maybe the next Saturday, the 18th. And Will might be here, too, my friend Will. So $10,000 an acre. 
Actually, that's not too terribly bad. Um, I mean, we've got farms down here in, in the Medina County that are like, and it's Medina, so it is what it is. But, I mean, we're talking like 10 acres for like $300,000. It's ridiculous. You know, it's it's so expensive. <laughs> Down in the uh, southwest, so you're you're talking fifty nine, fifty eight, sixty, sixty one, sixty two. Yeah, that's like that's a good idea too. That makes one field that's slightly larger than the one I'm on right now. <laughs> <laughs> My field's bigger than yours. <laughs> Such a jerk. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. My my, uh, the barn that my wife. Oh, I hired a worker. Oops, uh, the barn that my wife works at is just outside of Lodi on Friendsville Road. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Lafayette's pretty. That's how I go. I come down uh, when I go down to drop her off at work. Uh, Resolute. I go down. I leave out of my neighborhood. I get on 162 and head across, uh, heading west, and then I go south on 42 Lafayette Road. And then I turn left on Friendsville, and then she's off of Friendsville. So that's I take that route every day, <laughs> twice a day. It's kind of a it's a nice quiet drive though, and it's pretty back there, so it's not bad. But I wish the roads were a little more curvy. Oh, there you go, Washington Courthouse, Ohio. I love Ohio, but it is expensive. See, 32 and the one to the right of it. So 34 or 33 or both. <laughs> when we take when we finish this harvest, I'm going to take a two minute break and grab a glass of ice water. My throat's kind of turfety. Oh, you lived on Friendsville. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. It's pretty, isn't it? It's such. It's a nice area. It's quiet back there. Ugh, the deer, though, I'm always afraid I'm going to hit one. They, I almost hit one on 42 the other night. He ran across. And I slammed on my brakes and beeped the horn, and he got he panicked because he saw me coming, and he he started slipping around on the road. He he fell over and like slipped, and then got up and ran off the road. I was just like, oh boy, dang deer. Yeah, everything's going up, but your wages. I know. I know. Tell me about it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, next to Chippewa. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I, so by the stop sign there. Yeah, because I go I go across Chippewa when I when I go. I know exactly where you're talking about. Did you ever go? Did you ever go to that restaurant with the with the motorcycle that's crashed into the city uh, wall? You know what I'm talking about. They, right there in that, on the corner of Friendsville and 42, they got that restaurant with the motorcycler, like, stuck on the wall up above the, the sign. <laughs> I think they finally took that down recently, <laughs> and they're trying to make it, like, a little bit nicer of a place. But, ah, British Columbia. So, let me think about this. Uh, BC is over on the Pacific side, right? Yeah. Well, I got my little car, too. I'd be so sad if I wrecked my car up. I'm trying so hard to keep it nice. Ah, crap. I'm not going to be able to get this last little bit. I'm going to hire a worker because he's going he's gonna to be full. Geno's, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think they took the motorcycler down. I think they're trying to make it a little bit more of an up upscale place now, but... I'll have to look again. I know. I'll, the next time I pass it, I'll look because I, I, I don't really see the front of it when I go. So maybe I'm just thinking it because I see the side of the restaurant. It's always busy though. What's going on up there? That's rough. Just financially or. Uh, okay, so until you're 22, you live there. Okay. Well, 
Oh my gosh, they're flooded, huh? Looks like it's time for SnowRunner. <laughs> That's crazy. Flood season, okay. Wait, did you, you got the joke, good. <laughs> Just call, uh, what was it? Search sh search track units or whatever they call it the the company that we made for uh, for our for our hardcore series we can come up there with our jeeps and get lost <laughs> and get stuck in the mud and then have a glitch and reset oh that sucks Avalon ooh that's tough man whoa did not I didn't even know that was going on look how how unconnected to the world I am. In my little video game bubble. I had no idea all that was going on. That's crazy. In national news, Arthur has no idea. Okay, well, we didn't have too bad of a harvest. Let's say we put about uh, maybe 15,000, 20,000 liters into the, into the factory, which means we'll get about 10,000 out. But hopefully that oil will be worth something. Twenty-five houses got burnt down. Holy crap! Man, that's nuts. There's my harvester. I'm proud. That's a lot. Yeah, I mean, twenty-five houses here would be devastating, and that's that's not very many houses. That's still a lot of houses. To lose your house that way, that'd be horrible. All right. So we have completed the harvest. It's time to take out a loan and build our giant truck multiplex for the three pieces of equipment that we own. They got wiped, huh? Just like gone. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to grab a glass of ice water, folks. I will be right back. In the meantime, you can stare at this pretty industry and pretty harvester. I shall return in just one moment. I remember that train, yeah. Like it came into town and just exploded, like set the whole. The, yeah, I remember. I remember seeing that. 
So here's a question for you guys. I got a lot of you on tonight. Um, do you guys want to see? Um, do you guys want to see Train Sim at all on here? Oh, that's crazy, Cavalier. Cavalier. Um, Cause I got the new, the new, um, the new run for from Cheyenne to wherever. Uh, it's a it's a new USA route um, that goes through Wyoming, and I wanted to. to I'm going to do a video on it, but I did. Hey, Beasley, how's it going? Um, do you guys want to see me do that or no? Jeremy says no. I don't know, because I feel like I, I sometimes I do those streams and nobody watches. So hey, what's up, TC? Like, do you, should, do you guys want to see the the new the new American route? It's it's uh, in Wyoming. It looks really good. It's fifty two miles of track, which is the the uh, um, the longest route I think that's come out for TSW two, if I'm not mistaken. Like they haven't had one. That's two no's, two no's and two yeses. <laughs> Roxel says no. Isn't 22 enough or 11 enough, though, to keep it? That's half the train. That should be enough to keep it stopped. That's crazy. That's three S's. Make that three. Make that four. What's up, Jax? <sighs> When in doubt, ask the wife. You know what you know what she'll say. Boring. <laughs> That's what my wife would say. Right, right. So you can kind of only sort of, sort of partially interact. Maybe on a slope, you have to put more on. <laughs> Tiger said no thanks. <laughs> Had enough train. It does look amazing. Yeah, the new route looks amazing. I used to like to stream it because it seemed like people liked it, but, you know, I, it seems like if I do it, I only usually get about 10 or 15 people watching. So, you little jerk. It's my fault. I pulled out in front of him. Happy wife, happy life, right? <laughs> she could care less. She goes to bed when I stream anyway. She's like, I'm going to bed. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I started, I, I was like, oh, it can't. I saw it came out like two or three days after uh, after this came out. I was like, dang it, I can't believe I missed that. But, oh, well, whatever. Yeah, I guess so, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see Rock Solid. It honestly doesn't matter um, if I do it because the, the issue is that I have uh, – hmm. It's flat over here. Like, if I put it up on this side, we should be okay. Um, that's cute, Kevlar. Hey, good night, Waking. We'll see ya. Hey, no problem, Beaverton. Well, I'm having fun. We're going to play till another another 45 minutes or so. I'm going to try to get off about about 1230. Um, so, first of all, oh, before we even do that, I need to uh, take out the rest of the loan, which I hate to do, but... <laughs> Apparently not that much because I do it on every single farm that I play. Just I wish there was like a give it all or just hold it down so you don't have to like press each button for every five thousand dollars because this only takes all night. Happy spouse, happy louse. There we go, five hundred thousand dollars, six hundred actually. But uh, all right, let's get this going. I think I want to build the the one. Um, the one that has the workshop in it. That one's too big. This one would work. 
And this one's nice because I see. I wish I could see it better. Um, collides with player. Great. Where's the front and where's the back? This is the front. So I want to. I want to rotate the other way. Oh, that's weird. This one's not. This one only snaps. I've never seen one that only does that. I can't rotate it. There we go. Okay. So I want to. I want to change my angle on the camera. Hold on. How do I do that? Roll down. There we go. Don't, not too close to the edge there. Not too close to the railroad tracks either. And it looks like it's not lined up properly with the ground, but I guess... No, it is. <laughs> we'll bring it this way a little bit. Yeah, this one's nice because it's not crazy expensive. Um, this is nice and level. We're going to have to obviously put... Now, I have a secret mod. Shh. And the secret mod allows me to do landscaping for free. But that's to offset the $17,000 per 10 feet fences that they put in this freaking game. <laughs> it's like we're crazy. How much that... Yeah, so we could park the harvester right here. That's perfect. And the tractors and our equipment can go inside. Yep. Is it too close? <laughs> I think we're okay. We're all right. We're okay here. There's plenty of space. And then look, my house can go right here next to the railroad tracks. <laughs> well, I'll probably have to just live in here. That's going to be the, the thing. Um, oh, there's a repair bay. That's so cool. I love this. I love it already. Ooh, yeah, I do beastly. We'll do it next week. Sorry. I haven't played it since since we've done Farm Sim. I haven't played it. Okay, this is cool. Inside, if we ever do, like, uh, stuff that we need to <laughs> store inside, we can do this like a hay or anything. But tractors, too. Oh, this is a nice facility. I really like this. Oh, my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so let's... Are there lights and stuff? What does this do? <gasps> no, that's... <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Does it? No. <laughs> what will make for a horrible... Yeah, this... <laughs> hey, I've got a train in my backyard. It's about 50 yards, though. we got a little bit of space between our... Our little house and the train. Um, okay, so... Let's go back into build construction mode. Tell anybody about the mod. Um, auto lights. Okay. Yeah, so we have to mess with the lights. Landscaping. Painting. This land is... What? What do you mean it's not owned by me? <laughs> okay. Well... Oh, God, that's not what I wanted to do. But, okay, we'll do it anyway. Oh, no, I can't. Oh. I, bu I built my shed on your future vineyard. Sorry. See, that's weird. I can't. Mm. Okay, well. That's pretty cool. I'm disappointed about the workshop, though. Um, hmm. It's like we can't access it from that side. Well, let's do this then. Maybe this will be okay. I need to get to here, and we're going to do landscaping. Painting. Can I not paint here? What? Make this bigger again. There we go. Huh. So it looks like I'm unable to put any pavement in front of our, <laughs> our vehicle shed. So I should have shifted the whole thing over a little bit, I guess. Uh, but... That's okay. 
The other thing we need to do is this. I'm going to put these back here. Um, no, I didn't want to do that. That was too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the brush shape, which is X. Nope. V. Yeah. And I'm going to make them smaller again. I'm going to paint that grass back in right there, just like that. Oh, I know I can get in, but I wanted to put I wanted to put uh, pavement down in front of the door. Red Alpha, see how I did that here? I wanted this pavement to come over to here, but because it's too close to the tracks, it won't let me it won't let me pave it in. So I'm just gonna have to drive over the grass to get there. Unless maybe I can pl I don't know I don't know how I would do that. There's go there goes the train. It's silent. Um. So that's a bit of a bum bummer, but it's supposed to, Gwen. When you paint, yeah, I'm not going to – if I demolish it, they're going to charge – I'm only going to get half back. Um, so, no, <laughs> you have to leave it, unfortunately. I wish I could, but glitch. Oh, well, lesson learned. Too bad. Right. Well, and that could be – unfortunately – you know, I wonder if that's part of that, because I used the mod, uh, the Place Anywhere mod, and I'm wondering if that's causing that. It allows you to place it closer than it should. Um, so let's go ahead and, oh, the other thing we need, though, well, we'll do that in a sec. So hopefully we still have enough money left for all the tools and implements that we need. We probably don't. Yeah, that it might be how it is, Gwen. They're supposed to, when you paint grass down, it is supposed to grow back. Um, yeah, I should have done that. I didn't. I didn't realize that would happen. So, okay, so it's the same on the console. Ah, well, <laughs> that answers that question. <laughs> it's because of the mess your cowboy made. I mean, I could see making a YouTube video series of, like, building a farm, like, build a farm and then make it available to people. Like, here, here's my idea for a cow farm. Be kind of fun. But I think people like the idea of building it themselves, so I don't know. That's one of the things I do like about the game so far is that we can kind of build our own thing. But. <laughs> so you made a mess, did you? Now, will this fit in? Hey, if the T9 fits in, this will fit in, right? But I could also see it probably being better just fitting it down on the end. You have to paint meadow for actual grass? Ah, okay. All right, so let's see here. Um, <coughs> I need to do something else too. Of course, you guys will know. What am I? What am I about to place? What do you think I'm going to place right now? <laughs> yep, you were right. Don't need that. Don't need that. We do need this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The tet, the, the header, the tether, and the header. Yep, <laughs> you knew it. Arthur cannot survive without his washer, his washer. Oh God. Mm. <laughs> Crap. Uh, come on. Oh, for crying out loud. Rear steering, I hate it. The vehicles actually have hazard lights, by the way. <laughs> but you have to have a keyboard with a numpad to do it. <laughs> There's my hazards. <laughs> There's no way to do it from the controller. Unless you map it. You can map it. But...
But the vehicles all do have hazards. You just have to do it. So. Oh, meadows under plants. Okay, well, maybe I'll put that in then. Though I don't know if I want tall grass up there. I think I might just want the gravel grass. Yeah, they got the four blinkers, yes. Watch my blinkers. See all four? See Well, you'll see two of them. You won't see the front ones, but see the back two blinkers? Watch. There you go. Hazards. Yeah, you, you, you're, you'd have to go in. Um, uh, they do have them on the console, but what you got to do is you'd have to go in and unassign something else and assign them to a controller function. So what I would do is I would overlap them with your beacon. So when you turn the beacons on, the four ways go on also. Um, that way you can get them both on with one with one keystroke. Um, but you can enable them under the control menu. It just you have to go in there and enable them. But uh, it does have them. And that's true for 17 and 19. Yeah. At least you should be able to. Now, once again... I don't play on console, so I don't know for sure on the console if that's the case. I think it is, but... Man, these dolly trailers are a pain in the butt to back up when you don't have a... <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the rear wheel steering, it's like, mm, nope, yep, nope. Yep, nope, nope, yep. There's that. Yeah, yeah. Painting meadow is expensive, right? Yeah, that's. There's a mod out there for that, Gwyn, called uh, free landscaping or something like that. I did. I that's what I did. That's the, that's the mod I was whispering about. Uh, it makes it so that the landscaping painting is cheap, or free, very cheap. So cheap that it's free. No, they had them in 15, too. <laughs> 15 even had the hazards, yep. I get people asking me all the time. I'd be like, oh, you press this. It's a mod that a lot, it's called free, I think it's called free free landscaping or the landscaping mod. I know. What mods? We don't do mods. I do some, I do mods that are very useful. I don't do, like, cheat mods like, um, this tipper can hold 70,000 tons. Now, the mother bins, they hold that much, but, um, you know, these normal tippers, they make tippers that hold, like, 10 times the regular weight. I don't do those. So, no, it's a little crowded in here. <laughs> Maybe it really wasn't meant for this. <laughs> tipper can go under the, uh, ah. Uh. So it's not on console. Maybe you can't do it on console. Huh. It should be. I'm going to park this tipper outside. There's no reason to park this inside. <clears throat> console does not have four ways. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, there you go. Rarely use the money mod. Oops. Well, they wouldn't have been. As, they're not assigned. That's what you have to remember. They are. On, they should be on it, but they're not assigned. I'll have to check. I haven't played on console in a long time. I've got 17 on the Switch, so I can find out. But if you can adjust the controls and assign them the way that you want them, you should be able to assign the hazard lights. Because it's one of the one of the console assignments or control assignments. Uh, okay, we need to run to get our the rest some more equipment for our farm. We're gonna be bringing stuff back and forth for a bit um i don't think we're going to have enough money to buy another field we'll have to earn our way to the next field and i think right now i might just rent the field work equipment because there's like a thousand here a thousand there 
So we might spend $10,000 in field, but we'll have some money left over to actually live off of. <clears throat> I don't think you can hook a keyboard to a console, but maybe you can. Yeah, somebody let us know if, you, if you're on. See it. Hit right one and hold up. No, those aren't the those aren't the hazards. The right one and up are the beacons. These are beacons. Okay, now watch my tractor carefully. These are hazards. Okay, I'm turning the beacons off and leaving the hazards on. Now the hazards are off. The hazards are the flashing lights. Your car has them too. Um, so if you hold right one and hold up, that turns the beacons on. That doesn't turn the hazards on. But you should be able to assign them. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, it's the number two key on the numpad on your keyboard. If you have a numlock keyboard, it's the number two pad or number two on that pad. Okay, so we need to start thinking about field work. Um, the first things first, though, we do need a trailer. And I, I've been going with this one. This is a great trailer for delivering product. You can put a lot on there. Um, and we don't need a truck or anything. And it's the cheapest one here. We could do this one, too, but I don't. Once again, I don't think we need something that's that big because um, the factory isn't going to produce that fast. So overnight, we might fill one of those up. Um, and then I've been looking. <laughs> I've been thinking. I've been drinking again. I still feel like this is the cheapest, best option for loading pallets. Um, it can lift all the different size pallets, and it's it's easy to use. This guy is cool, but it's expensive. And it doesn't – and here's another thing, too. Hey, we'll see you, Cavalier. Have a good night. Um, this guy you can tie down. I, I had trouble with the yellow one on this, on this uh, trailer. It kept wiggling around. So, yeah, that's right. So, I, yeah, I like this one. What's up, Dionysus? Hopping on. There we go. This one should tie down no problem. Awful. <laughs> That's my wife voice says. Awful. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, boop. There we go with that. So let's go drop that off. So what do you guys think? Should I keep the forklift at my house? Or should I, like in our garage? Or should I leave it at the factory? Because I own the factory. Hey, j -Wah. I don't know what to do. I wish we had garages and stuff at the... I wish they would give you, like, parking places and stuff at these facilities. I think the biogas does, but <laughs> Oh, right, like what happens if you run out of power and you forget to charge it? <laughs> you can't deliver electricity to it. Yeah. So we're going to we're just going to take this home. I'll park it in my garage for now, and then as we need it, we'll drive it up with the forklift. That, Brits have a hard time with the TH sound. Give me an example. Depends on where they're from. Different parts of England, they say, oh, that and this. But other places, they say, oh, that and this. <laughs> like, depends on, it depends on what part of England you're from. And if they have the normal English accent or the everybody else accent. Oh, Arfie instead of Arthy. Oh, yeah, because like Moni says, awful. But she doesn't speak. She doesn't speak the Queen's English. She's not posh. She always says, "I'm not posh." Mm, that works. We'll just leave it there like that. And then I'm gonna grab. Let's see. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to roll our field that we just. That we need to get the stubble off. It's time to shave our field. So. We'll rent a field shaver. Eventually, we'll buy this stuff, but once again, I, not yet. We need to start making some income first, so. 
What? <laughs> He's back with the jokes. Oh no. There, not there. What kind of car does an egg drive? A Yolks wagon. Oh my god. Yeah, it is a little small inside. It feels a little bit, uh, a little cramped in there. Good for small tractors, I guess. But if you're buying a three hundred thousand dollar shed, you probably have some <laughs> larger tractors. <laughs> Pardon me. All right, so um, let's go ahead and grab the first thing. Let's see what's what's for sale. It's okay if you had to. That was funny. It worked. Excellent. Ha ha do. Oh, uh, good one. All right, so rollers. We need to look at our mulchers here. Planters, rollers, mulchers, mulchers. There we go. Yes, a large loss, uh, like still 75% of the normal loss. So it's best to get them when they're young. And there's some bugs going on with the weeds right now. Let's see, we could do this. It's $25,000, $22,000. We'll just do this. Yep. Yeah, but they're, and they're not working as they're supposed to right now. So, yes, when the, you, you need to catch them when they first start growing. Hopefully they'll pop up when your crop first starts growing. The other thing that you could do is you could just spray right away. When you plant your crop, just spray it for weeds, and then they won't grow. So you could do, uh, what do you call that, preventative spraying. Yeah, I would like to buy this. Honestly, I would like to buy that field and make it one big field and then cut a road through it, like, to get... Make it two fields again after making it one field. Uh, so we can get to it easier. But we can still get to it. But Yeah, or just turn them off. I'm thinking about it myself. We'll see. I want to play with them a little bit to see what happens. But that's right. A faux pas. <laughs> False pas. Uh, that means a mistake is what that means. You're misusing that. Time to shave the fields. <laughs> so this gives us supposedly like a 5%. The bug is that a, sometimes the weeds will come up two and three times. They're only supposed to come up once. Um, certain cultivators that you cultivate with are supposed to give you no weeds, and yet still you get weeds. And then after, after you've done them, they, they come up again. So... There's uh, there's just some bugs going on with them. They're doing the opposite. Some of them are doing the opposite of what they're supposed to do as far as cultivators and stuff. So, yeah, but if you catch them fast, they won't come back. So, yep, they just pop. Yeah, and they're a pain. So this supposedly gives us a 5% bonus, I guess, doing the stubble roll. I love this tractor. This is a good-looking tractor. Whoops. I mowed the lawn a little bit, too. <laughs> the mulchers auction. <laughs> they mow. <laughs> Looks like dead grass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm hoping that after I do this, I can spread uh, lime. That's what I'm hoping for. If I can put lime down, then we can lime the fields and plow them. I want to lime before I plow. Uh, I'm going to mulch the potatoes, too, while we have this thing. Because um, I'm not going to use them. Or should I? I don't know what to do. You guys think I should harvest those potatoes? If I do it the cheap route, it's going to be about $10,000 to harvest them. Do you think I can get $10,000 off that field? It's hard to know. So 
So it won't recognize the lime. Ugh. Man, I'm sucking at this. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting this straight. Come on. So you need to plow or cultivate prior to... Dang it. Because I want to do both in one step. I don't want to have to... Uh, but if I lime, then I'm going to have to... I guess you can just seed. So can you seed right after liming? I know in real life I don't think you would do that, would you? Maybe. Yeah, the dudes... I've actually sat in a couple of those. I sat in a, a 7 model and a 9 model. They're freaking awesome looking. And inside they're crazy cool and comfortable. The seat was super comfortable. I was like, man, I could drive one of these forever. It's like a big comfy tractor. It's all white inside. Like it's just it's, it was really cool. So you can seed after liming. Isn't that bad for the crops in real life though? I guess if it cultivates beforehand, then it's not that bad, but So you do lime right after harvest. Okay. We'll try it and see. Oh, so you have to lime. Oh. So, okay. I haven't learned that yet. So you lime first, then you mulch. Okay. Well, that slurps. Okay. Well, that's what we're going to have to do that and then. <laughs> Stupid. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm looking forward to seeing it feared. <sighs> it just does nothing after you mulch. Okay, well, that sucks. Wish I would have known that like 10 seconds ago <laughs> before I started. Oh, well. well. You live and learn, right? But now we know, at least I know next time that I'll do the, I'll do the liming first. And then that's, that's the first thing you do is lime and then whatever else you're going to do. Now, does the lime disappear as you're mulching or does it just stay on the field until you plow? Keep missing spots. Oh well. I don't think I've ever seen a farmer doing this, so maybe this is just stupid. It's a stupid gimmick to get us to get two percent fertilization. <laughs> Look out, birdies. Yeah, it disappears. Okay. Well, next time. Ne there's always next year, right? You did mulching twice and had enough of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think farmers in America do it. I've never seen a farmer doing this. I've seen them running their cultivators, but maybe they do it, like, and I just haven't seen it. I don't know. I think, okay, so in real life, um, JCB is, um, they're designed to be sort of like road tractors. I mean, they have a heavy tractor too, but their, their, their primary purpose is to kind of like run, like, like to do hay work and stuff and to run hay carts back and forth in town. They have a car suspension. So they're they're really designed for m more heavy like road use, uh, and then light tractor duty. Um, but they do have a couple heavy models that are designed for plowing and stuff like that. But I think the three thirty in general people use that as a sprayer. They use it to, as a, a transporter for hay. They probably use it to mow. Uh, but I don't think they use them for like heavy field work, like plowing, cultivating that kind of stuff. Um, I think in the game, uh, they're very, um, they're very useful. Um, and they, they, uh, you know, cause they got the all wheel steering and the crab steering, uh, and they're, so they can, they do well as a front loader also. Um, but they can do everything the other tractors do. So I think they're actually a really good tractor for the game, but I think if you're going to play them realistically, you wouldn't be using them to plow and stuff unless you're talking about the bigger JCB. And I don't know if that's in game or not. I don't remember seeing it. Let me look real quick. There's like a 530 or something like that. I don't. 
<laughs> World's fastest track. I thought Zetter had that. Yeah, they've got this 8330, I think, is the big one. What else they got? Is there anything bigger? No, that's it. Because you have this one, and then you have the um, – this one, yeah, the forty, the forty two, the forty two twenty, um, and so they're like I said, they're designed for, um, yeah, they're designed more for road use and stuff, so that they're kind of a multi, you know, and, and that's another thing too. In America, you do see tractors on the road once in a while, but it's far more common in Europe, especially like in England. There's always tractors on the road, like my. My wife, we'd be taking our, you know, my wife's kids to school in England. And <laughs> there's a JCB with a, you know, a manure wagon just driving through town, you know. <laughs> so they, because you know, cause in England the countries in the city are kind of together. All everywhere you go, you have like town, country, town, country, town, country, and it just kind of goes in a pattern like that. So, um, okay, that's probably what I'll do this time because that's that's the route we headed down. Um. But uh, JCB, they make good tractors. They do. Um, now, what's cool is you'll notice, and that's the one thing I was talking about. Actually, the other stream the other night, if you look at the 4220, and I don't know if the other one has it, but it's got this tray on the back. See that? Now, in real life, they make all kinds of attachments for this tractor. They've got a sprayer attachment with a tank that goes on the back. It just sits back there. Uh, they've got an armed mower that can have like like five, like I think it has like three or four arms with mowers on it. They can be adjusted to like mow and trim hedges and stuff like that. Um, they also have a little dumper that you can put on the back and a fertilizer. So um, yeah, it's it's a um, it's a pretty cool device. Like when it's used, but they they never made the attachments in the game. So. Uh, but in real life, they actually put stuff on the back there, and it's pretty neat. So it's like a modular system. Yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah, when you see them in real life here, they're in, they're pretty intimidating how big they are. Hey, what's up, Nikki? Yeah, they're uh like this I've seen a T8 and a T7 in person and the T8 like made my car look like a like a uh like a matchbox. They're the T8s are huge. The T7's pretty dang big too. Even a T4. I went past a T4 once with Dooley's. The guy had a little T4 for his little like little horse farm, and it was it was huge. I'm like, oh my god, that thing's giant. Like when you see it in person, a T4 tractor is actually pretty big. So my uh, my friend uh, Jeff, a couple of years ago, he had me videotape. He was he's do he owns a uh, a John Deere five series. It's like a five M or something like that. And he uses it uh, as a snow plow in parking lots at a local grocery store. And he had me film him doing it. And I'm like, I got there, and I'm like, you know, the 5, when you think about it in game, like, oh, yeah, that 5M, that's a little tractor. <laughs> you can't get there in real life. And the thing's, I'm like, this thing's freaking huge. Like, it just doesn't look like that in game necessarily. But these are, this is a big tractor. <sighs> oh, yeah, I've seen guys do that too, Feared. Um, man, I can't believe they're still harvesting up there where you live. They're dead here. It's over. <laughs> That's funny, Kay. <laughs> now, what are you driving, Kay Tigris? You have that, uh, it's a 90s pickup, right? The 350, right? We were talking about that last night. Oh man, it might be. We might be moving on towards that time, being midnight and all. Yeah, they probably they probably saw the weather report and were like, "Man, we got to get that corn off the field, man." And they got out there real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think. They usually leave them on as much as they can, don't they? Like, they don't just take them off. So, yeah, we've got mm, we got a dusting right now of snow. We had about a quarter of an inch yesterday, and it melted. It's been snowing on and off, but we're going to – it's going to be in the 60s here this weekend. I got a wedding. I'm like, oh, it's going to warm up for the wedding. In this case, that's good, though, because they're going to want to do some outside stuff, and I don't have to freeze my buns off.
Oh, that's, yeah, that would be a little crazy. Yeah, I'd like to buy this field. Is this potatoes, too? Oh, it's cotton. <laughs> I got cotton on one side and potatoes on the other, man. Like, totally worthless crops for us. Four inches, yeah. We had so, about that much last week, but it, melt, it all melted. And once again, it's going up into the 60s, I think, until next, next Thursday or Friday, and then it's going to start snowing again the following weekend. I know they do corn later than they do grain. I'm surprised that grain is still out there. But this this year, it's been really rough for the farmers. I know they've had a rough time getting their crops in. So, yeah. I, I would. It would make me uneasy too, man. I'd be like, mm, I don't like that. Keep that truck right there. Don't you get any closer to my face. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get this thing real quick, and then I'm going to have to call it on night, guys. I am really tired. All of a sudden, I'm like, ooh. <sighs> yeah, we're at like 28, I think, tonight. So. Oh, there you go, Kate Tigers. Yeah, that's a little scary. Even in second. All right, guys, so we'll finish this next time. I'm going to save this farm. We'll keep it right here, and I will see. Uh, I might do a little more field work, like, in the next day or two, but we'll. this will be my, like, late-night streaming farm. So we'll continue this saga as we try out the oil facility and see how that does financially. And look at that cool. That's our, our cool machine shop. I'm going to pretend like I'm going home first before this is over. I want you guys to see my house. Where's my truck? Where the f – where's my truck? Oh, oh, God, sorry. <laughs> Bears make it even worse, huh? Oh, that's awesome, Avalon, but that's good. So here's my new humble abode. This is where we'll be spending our nights. Oh, look, it's my blue car. That's the guy that lives out front in the trailer house. No, that's our house. Wait a minute. How do I shift? Oh, yeah. Nope. There we go. Nope. This truck is so jumpy. So this is my humble abode. It is tis but a trailer home. But it does. It does for us. And then down on the back, I have a little place to hang out and watch the neighbors <laughs> have a picnic. Oh, look, what is this? Somebody left a toy on my... What is that? It's not active, whatever it is. I can't pick it up. Isn't this one of the toys? <laughs> Aren't we supposed to find these or something? I guess. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Got a new trailer. Ah. It'll be very humble, but it'll do pig. <laughs> so anyway, this is where we will spend our time. And it's a little house. I was hitting R. That's the weird part. I was like tapping it all over the place. Oh, well. That's our our cousin's car. He's staying with us. <clears throat> All right, guys, have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Sorry about that, Nikki, about going so quick. Welcome. We call we call that pulling an eye rock. Uh, that means coming in at the last minute, and there's a good reason for it, but we'll go over that next time. Have a good night, guys. Bye.